HRP. Okay. So first draw the reference line. Then with a faint line, draw the projection anywhere. This is a projection line, it must be faint. Remember. Now in a front view, first we will complete the front view. So distance above HRP will be always seen in a front view. So how much distance they have given? 30 mm above HR. Okay. So in a front view above the reference line at a distance of 30 mm, mark the position of point. So this is mark this point with capital. Mark the position of a given point and show this distance. So point A is 30 mm above HRP and 20 mm in front of FRP. So suppose this is the point, the distance is 20 mm from FRP, this distance is visible in the top view. So, on the same projector, at the distance of 20 mm, mark the points, show this distance with a faint line. Write down dimension at the center of the dimension line in a perpendicular direction. So, this will be top view of point A. So this is projection of point A. Point A, 20 mm in front of FRP and 30 mm above HRP. Second case, point B, 20 mm in front of FRP and in the HRP itself. So this point B lies on the HRP and 20 mm in front of FRP. Same procedure, anywhere on the reference line, first draw position line. Now point B is 20 mm in front of FRP. Okay, so this distance is visible in a top view. So mark this distance 20 mm in a top view. Mark this point. So this is top view of point B. Again, show this distance. So top view lies at a 20 mm in front of FRP and now this point lies on the plane itself. Okay, suppose this is a HRP. So point lies on this HRP. So when you are looking from the front side, its projection will lie on the reference line. So its front view will lie on the reference line. So on the reference line, mark this point and mark this front view of point B. Check your drawing. So this is projection of point B. Third point. Third case. Point C is in the FRP. Means point lies on the plane FRP itself and 40 mm above HR. Again, same procedure anywhere. First draw projection line, which must be framed. Now this point it lies on the plane itself, okay, and it is 40 mm above HR. So this distance will be seen in the front view. Mark this point. So this this is the front view of point C. Again, show this distance. So point C is 40 mm above HRP. Now this point lies on the FRP. So when you are looking from the top, its projection will lie on the 
reference line. So top view will be on the reference line. And fourth case, point D is on the both the plane. So this point lies on the reference line. So our any point on the reference line, there will be front view and top view. Both are overlapping. Point D F will be on the reference line, and D H will be overlapping. This. So this is a projection of a line when point is in the first quadrant. Okay. Now, every time it is not possible to give the dimension with reference to F R P and H R P. It is a lengthy procedure. Okay. So to simplify this, we are using now coordinate system. Hmm. So complete the projection means we have to complete the front view, complete the top view, draw the reference line. Okay. So now, each time it is not possible to give that uh, distance with reference to F R P and H R P. For that, what we are doing, we are now following the coordinate system. Means what? I will draw three axes to this system. Horizontal one is x. Hmm. Vertical two axes overlapping each other. Y and Z. Y and Z are overlapping each other. Hmm. Now see. Suppose. We'll take point A. So now, we'll learn. what is the coordinate system? Position of point A is given, front view and top view, both are given. How to project this point, or how to simplify this? Now you can see here, front view and top view of point always lies on the same project. Okay, so we have drawn this common line, position line passing through front view and top view, vertical line which will intersect at axis x. Okay, so mark this distance as a x from the origin. Mark this distance as a x. This is a our origin. Okay, so I am at the common projection line. Now, this top view is closer to the our x line. So through top view. Draw horizontal line, which will intersect this vertical line. Now we will mark this distance with reference to origin as a y. For your understanding, I am writing y vertically. Okay. So I got top view of a point A. Remaining is now front view. Okay. So through front view of the point, again draw a horizontal line, which will intersect this vertical line. Now, with respect to origin, take this distance as a j. Hmm. So see, here, we got three coordinates: x, y, z. Hmm. So now on the word, I will give the position of point A is like A in bracket x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. Hmm. So what we have to do? We have to draw two mutually perpendicular axes. Mark horizontal as x, vertical as a y and z. Y and z are overlapping. Okay. So on x axis, mark this x coordinate. Then Mark this distance. Then, through this 
draw vertical common line then y coordinate so first we have had this x strong x axis we are drawing the vertical line then take next coordinate y strong vertical line mark y coordinate so this draw horizontal line where this line is intersecting x coordinate mark this point so as per first angle projection top view is always below the front view so mark this top view of that point then take z third coordinate so on the same axis from the origin mark this z coordinate through z through that distance draw horizontal line where this line is intersecting mark this front view of a point Hmm? So this is a coordinate system. Hmm? So why do I have to follow this? Because every time it is not possible to give the distance. Like uh, point A is suppose 20 mm in front of FRB, 30 mm above HRP. To avoid this complication, we have simplified this system. Okay. Now we will take a practical example. Draw. So one uh, plane is given P Q R. Okay, coordinate are given. Suppose point P Q and R. How to solve this problem? So point P coordinate are fifteen, twenty five, sixty five. Fifteen. Twenty-five, sixty-five. Q, fifty. X coordinate fifty. Y coordinate fifty. And Z coordinate nine. And point R is also given. X coordinate seventy. Seventy, forty. And Z coordinate seventy five. Hmm? So problem is asked. Complete the projection of plane PQR, and coordinates of all points are given. We have to draw front view and top view of plane PQR. So we have given coordinates. Remember X, Y, and Z of all the points. Hmm? I have given the coordinates of all the points. How to draw this plane? So draw two uh, perpendicular axes. We just perform it below to each other. Simply x-axis and y-axis. Okay. So mark two perpendicular axes. Then mark the divisions. Use a scale. Now all these are x coordinate, y coordinate, z coordinate. So you have to choose the scale. Giving into consideration, considering all the maximum coordinates. So on uh, y and z axis, maximum coordinate ninety. On x axis, seventy. Okay. So you have to choose proper scale. So draw two perpendicular axes. Then. Mark this division. Thank you. 
So I have drawn this to a oh, three axis x, x horizontal, y and z are vertical. Okay. Then mark the scale. So on the horizontal, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay. So x maximum point is 70. Then on the vertical axis, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Hmm? So you have to mark the scale on the vertical as well as uh, horizontal axis. Now, take first point, point P, hmm? whose x coordinate is 50. So, on the x axis, take x coordinate 15, which is in between 10 to 20. Suppose it is here, 15. So, on the x axis, at a distance 15 mm, draw a vertical line. Okay, so we have marked this x one. Then y coordinate 25. So on y vertical axis at a distance of 25 m, draw a horizontal line and mark this point. Okay, so we have marked this y distance of point P. Then z coordinate 65. So on the same vertical axis at a distance of 65, draw horizontal. Hmm? So we got two points. On the same projection, we got two points. So as per first angle projection, front view is lies on always above top view. So topmost point will be front view. So this is the front view of point P. And this will be top view of point P. So this point will be here. Lowermost point will be always top view of that point. So this will be pH. Okay. So we have marked the projection of point T. Next point, point Q. It is at a distance of x 50. Okay, so on x axis at a distance of 50 mm, draw vertical line. Hmm? So on x axis at a distance of 50 mm, I have drawn a vertical line. Then y coordinate 50. So on the y axis at a distance of 50 mm, draw faint line. We got one point, mark that point. Okay. So we have marked the Y point. Z point 90. So on the vertical axis at the 90 mm, draw another horizontal line where both lines are intersecting, mark that point. So again, we got two points. Topmost point will be always front view. So mark this point as well. Uf, lowermost point will be Qh. So we have completed projection of the second point. Third point, R, x coordinate 70. So at a distance of 70 mm on x axis, draw vertical projector, y coordinate 40. So, on the vertical axis, at a distance of 40 mm, draw another line, horizontal line, then z coordinate 75. So, at a distance of 75 mm, on the vertical line, mark this horizontal. So, again, we got two points. So, point R, again, this topmost point will be front view of point R. Lowermost point will be top view of point R. Hmm? 
so i so we have used all the data we have got all front view and top view of all the points okay now this is a plane pqr it is given question is asked complete the projection of plane pqr means we have to complete so this is a triangle pqr and we have to complete its front view and top view we got all the front view and top view of all the point so join all front view so join pa pa rf so this is plane pqr front view of plane pqr complete or join top view points so we have completed top view of plane pqr hmm? so we have completed the projection of a plane pqr okay what is remaining so remaining is reference line okay reference line is always between front view and top view so anywhere between front view and top view draw a horizontal line anywhere between front view and top view okay and mark this x and y so i have completed projection of plane pqr using coordinate system